you got a senior out there going, hey, guys, we're going to get on my back. We're going to go because I want to get to the playoffs. And if we don't win this one, life gets kind of tough. Eight thirty-two to go. Official signaling for the clock to start. Forty-two twenty-one. Your score here in the fourth quarter. As they are going to take a look at the clock on the scoreboard. Got an issue. Uh, that's kind of what I'm wondering because it was 8:32 on the last play. I thought. 42-21 mm -hmm. score. It's a three-score game. The Rams on top here. It'll be second and four. Quarterback Barber got some instruction on the sideline. Mosey's back in where he'll be under center. Split to the right. That will be number 15, Cody Wigington. Split to the left, of course, is going to be Alex Crean. And it's going to be on the ground. You know that. It's going to be Barber, the quarterback. Finally, the Rams get a piece of him, but it still looks like he might have gotten a couple of yards mm -hmm. on the play. I don't know that he got first down yardage by any means. Just two. But the clock is a friend of Mount Vernon, the foe of Triad, because that, to me, is the key here. If they take six or seven minutes to score, that's okay. Under center, the quarterback, Barber. Just past the 9 o'clock hour, and it's going to be fumbled. The Rams got a hand on it, but I think it was recovered by Barber at the 737 Close. mark of the fourth quarter. So they almost got a hand in there, but it's going to be fourth and short. Close. But no cigar. 19 carries on the night for Barber. Not cutting through any defenses. So it'll be fourth and two now for the night. 7-17 to play in the fourth quarter. Rams on top, 42-21. Trying to shut him down here on fourth down. Barber under center. And this one will be sniffed out. Tyler Knutson on, on it after initial contact is made by Drew Hester. Turnover on downs. It belongs with the Rams. That a baby. Second turnover of the night on Triad. They are stuffed. After that drive of eight plays, the Rams have it with 7.05 to go, and I believe you can have the Rams notched up at 2-1 and one, heading into Altoff next week to begin South 7 Conference play. With the Rams' ability to eat clock tonight, 7.05 to play in the fourth quarter. 42-21 is the Malford in lead. It'll be Doug Gardner split to the left. They're going to bring Jacoby Marshall as tight on the right side. Double wing back set. Stacked on the left, quarterback reads under center in motion. C.J. Lloyd on a sweep, going to come up to the near side, gets to the 35, now to the 40. Actually, that's Miller Gray to the midfield. Oh, my gosh, going to break for it, 35. Oh. Cuts back at the 20. Now at the 15, running between the hashes, almost tripped up, in for the touchdown. And the Rams get a 68-yard touchdown of their own from DeMontez Miller Gray. There the you go. Hyphen does it again. Wow. You almost don't want to make that a highlight because I got the wrong ball carry at first, but that is a worthy there highlight you go. from the highlight. That helped. That shut the door. That will shut the door. <whistles> my, my, my. Ladies and gentlemen, DeMond says Miller Gray. Welcome, welcome to the show. Hey, he's 68. pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good, I heard. It's a word on the street anyway. 48-21. Let's see the ensuing point after. It's up, and it's going to be short. And maybe a little wide. 48-21 remains your score. 6.51 to play in the fourth. And now you feel better. We can let a little bit of air out of the lungs. Yeah. 2-1. and one. Community First Bank of the Heartland with five Jefferson County branches. Responsive quality service for all of your accounts. Oh, man. Let them be the first to say welcome back to 500. Or above 500. And um, welcome back to personal banking. Have the ball seven times. You score all seven times. Unbelievable. It's going to be fun going to the Candy Cane next week. Yeah, it will. Whew. We'll get you some scores throughout the night, of course, presented by Tony Wilt State Farm Insurance for all of your insurance needs. See Tony Wilt there at State Farm, of course, on 42nd South Water Tower. He's online at TonyWilt.com. We're looking for the white State Farm Jeep around town and get to a better state. Well, they're in the fourth quarter now at Altoff. Yeah. Still 17-14, Crusaders. Boy, that makes interesting next week. 
Brian Reynolds wants a shout out. He's listening to us the old school way on the radio. I'm, uh, Brian's proud of his mouth for the Rams tonight, up 48 to 1. 650. Clay Reeves. Now you're doing it. I get yeah, this contagious. Dylan, oh, didn't go 10 yards. Fumble. Watch Onside out. kick. It was touched by Triad. Do the Rams recover? Does Triad have the football? Rams are well, playing for keeps. Scrum. It's XFL. Rams sideline signaling they have Some it. Some kids are going XFL. Rams celebrating now. It's going to be Ram football. 6.46 to play here in the fourth. 48 to 21 is your score. The Rams have had seven possessions. They've scored seven times. 6.46 to go. We told you a moment ago that Altoff led Mascuda. 17-14 remains that in the fourth quarter. Thought I saw an update <sighs> on there. It wasn't. No. Looked at the wrong box. So the Rams had the football oh. first and 10 on their own 48. The ball in the near hash. Panthers score again. Things get interesting to the south down yonder. Yes, they do. Things interesting here with the quarterback, Dylan Reeves, under center. Splits to the left and to the right. In motion. And now it's going to be an inside handoff. Was it Hintgen? Uh, you can just run dives the rest of the way, sir. Run whatever you want. Oh, it, it don't matter now. I mean, it's just, you know, this baby's done. Of course, don't forget about pink out night coming the next time the Rams will be at home. Clinton County next week. Or St. Yes. Clair County. St. Clair. You know. I know what you're <laughs> <doing>. <laughs> <laughs> Pink Out Night supporting uh, Susan G. Coleman, Race for the Cure. FBLA putting that on. WMIX Sports proud to be one of the sponsors. Proceeds from Pink Out Night on the 27th. You can find information at mvths.org, FBLA. This is going to be oh. a sweep to the near side for Miller Gray. Pass midfield down to the 45. Pass that first down yardage at about the whatever that Options. is. Options. 42. Options, baby. How about this? Seven touchdowns from Mount Vernon tonight. Uh-oh, somebody getting – it's not good. Yeah, Rams, by my count, have 25 first downs. I, I'm, I'm, of course, unofficial. So let's see what's going to happen here. With 6.02 to play in the fourth quarter, Rams up 48-21. Flags at midfield. It's going to be a hold. Yeah. So your flag – and your footwork starts before the 50, and your ball spotted past the 40. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. That math doesn't it? Does not compute. 6.02 to play in the fourth. Second and 17 for the Rams. They've done a good job tonight. I will say that. Sweep to the right. It's going to be for C.J. Lloyd. Can he find some running room? He wiggles past a couple of tackles, breaks past midfield to the outside. He's at the 40 off to the race. It's 35. Couldn't stay in balance. He gets out at about the 30, and that's going to be one heck of a run for C.J. Lloyd. It's going to be of the 30-yard variety. Huh, jersey number. 5.43 to go in the fourth. Rams up 48-21. Yep. Ground and pound. It's now 24-14 outs off over Mascuda. In the fourth, 24-14. Scoreboard update tonight presented by Tony Wilt, State Farm Insurance. 5.43 to play here. It's 48-21 Rams, first and 10. Oh, it was only to the 38, so he must have stepped out much earlier. My apologies. Reeves going to roll to the right off the fake handoff. Going to get pushed back. Forward progress would have taken him to roughly the 35. Mm -hmm. So it'll be second down for the Rams here. As the clock continues to roll, it'll drop below the five-and-a-half minute mark. Red Lake College brings you streaming on WMIXSports.com. You can save thousands on your college education. Log on to RLC.edu. Find out how. See full descriptions on their over 100 degree and certificate programs. And apply online while you're there. Second and eight for the Rams. The ball is on the 36. 5.08 to go in the ball game. 48-21. The Rams are up 27 points. It'll be their largest margin of victory in quite a while as we drop below the five-minute mark. Off a sweep coming from the far side. Looks like Robert Greider somehow managed to slip a tackle hurdle guy almost. at the th Gets to the 30-yard line where he's finally brought down by a bevy of Knights. Took that many. It's a gain of six. Run. It'll be third and two. Nice run by Greider. Four 30 mark of the fourth quarter. Chester taking advantage of SVWW turnovers. Up 29-15 now in the fourth quarter. See if the... Passing game for the Devils can come alive. Grider, Fitz, Hintgen are your backs. 
Doug Gardner split to the left. This one's going to be Fitz going up the right side. A little bit of a draw, it looked like. Told you Fitz would get in on this. Gets a gain of five. It'll be first down yeah. yardage for the Rams. Down to the 25-yard line. 4-10 to play in the fourth. Yeah. WMIX Sports Mobile Studios are driven by Ford Square of Mount Vernon, 1501 Broadway. Shop them online at FordSquare.com. See their selection of Lincoln Luxury at Ford Square of Mount Vernon. Rams are talking it over in the huddle. Four minutes to play in the fourth. Going to let that clock wind. 13 on the play clock. Fits the tailback. Stacked on the left, Arhinkin and Grider. And off's going to be a pitch. Actually, make that a pitch to Fitz. Inside the 30, so it's going to be a loss. It'll be a loss of about two, second and 12. <laughs> Interesting. 3.30 to play here in the fourth quarter. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow is with us as well. Quentin Lloyd back at the Mount Vernon studio with 3.20 left to go here in the fourth quarter from J.D. Shields Memorial Stadium. Mount Vernon 48, Triad 21. Run that clock, baby. That is Jacob Williamson, I believe, in it running back along with Braden Fitzgerald and Robert Greider. Jacoby Marshall split to the right. Doug Gardner split to the left. Quarterback Reeves under center. It's going to be a handoff. Actually, that's, is that Andrew Heiner as he's pushed back a little bit on the run? So it'll be third and long for the Rams as the clock drops below the three-minute mark. Well, this one's over. Finally acclimated myself to the smaller numbers on the white unis. Not used to the larger font on the home You'll blocks. You'll see him next week. I promise. You betcha. He's kind of intrigued by that all soft Mascuda score. Mm -hmm. Of course, matchups are everything. Timing. Anything can happen on any given night. Reeves, the quarterback, has Fitz as a tailback and an offset eye, and Reeves going to keep it himself. Gets to about the 25, so a gain of about 3 to the 24. We'll bring up 4th and 9 with 2.13 to go here in the ballgame. Run it. Stand back. Go from there. Rams have had it set eight times. Probably won't score here. Who knows? Maybe they will. Scoring seven out of eight times on the possession would be good. As we'll see, Reed Millwood check in. I got a penalty flag. Got some laundry on the field. Yes, you can use my Sharpie. Ooh, this will hurt. This is 15 on Mount Vernon. Not it'll sure turn exactly. Out to be It'll turn out to be 10. Oh, my. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Yeah, it turned out to be a 15-yarder. Ouch. I saw the flag, and then I saw Ow. the ball march. That's the one thing is Mount Vernon has 10 penalties tonight. That's got to be worked on. I know three of them are on the kickoff, four of them, but three or four, uh, two, two or three of them, but, I mean, come on, you, that's something that can be worked on by next week. Yes, it can. The Rams will have it third and 25. Yikes. Lowood will fumble, and he'll take a loss. Actually, it was fourth down, so it'll be a uh -oh. turnover on downs. That ball didn't bounce up to him. He's trying to dribble it. You can't dribble that <laughs> thing, man. It's not going to dribble out there. Rams football is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Of course, they are the official voice of Rams athletics. If you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is at home in Dick Sina, Woodlawn, and Mount Vernon. Welcome back to personal banking, member FDIC. Ha! I'm in people's backyards and they're retweeting us at, at WMX Sports. Our main hockey. Gotcha. Well, there's all kinds of doctors in the house. First and 10 for the Knights. They'll have it from their own 43 yard line. With about a minute 50 to go here in the fourth quarter. 48 21 is your score. Triad got it on turnover on downs. As we're keeping a live eye on Mascuda Altsoff. Mm -hmm. Rams opponent, of course, from last week versus the opponent for next week. Yep. Spread it out, of course. Probably going to stick with the option. We're split left, split right. We prepare as we're talking. Wiedemann, of course, is going to be the fullback. And what are we going to have? Delay game, yeah. Clock, five. Play clock went zero, so that'll back it up to first Second and 15 penalty. from the 38. Carmise beat Johnson City 46-20. Chester's up late. Marion's up late on Harrisburg. Another touchdown. That's going back and forth. 28-24 Marion over Harrisburg. Minute 51 to go here. It's going to be quarterback keeper this time. It looks like Crean was the quarterback on the play. 
backup QB, the junior for the Knights. Clock will continue to roll here. Is that's going to bring up second down? Still about long. No, about nine. It's going to be a gain of six. My apologies. As we'll see what the final score will be in about a minute 30. At least in football clock time. That could be longer. Quarterback under center. Split left and split right. Looks like Crean's still under center. And this is going to be a quarterback keeper on the option. Sniffed out by Miles Tate and others. Still be a gain of about five. It'll bring up third and three for the Knights. 48-21 your score with a minute 10 to play here in the fourth. Pinckneyville beats Benton 16-13. That shocks me. I had Benton winning being at home. Interesting. Very. 48-21 the score. Rams on top here and out of the option. It's going to be first down yardage for Triad. As they run between the hashes to the 45-yard line, a gain of five will make it first and ten. Clock will stop to move the chains. But the Rams are going to be two and one on the year. 45-yard line between the hashes. The quarterback, of course, Alex Cree in the backup under center. Split left, split right. One in the slot. It's going to be a guy in motion now. And off. Actually, really is a handoff this time to the fullback, Bryce Wiedemann. Shy of the 40 to the 41 inside the near hash. A gain of four will bring up second and six. 27 seconds to play in the ball game. The Rams on top, 48-21. A fresh 25 on the play clock. We'll see just how far Tryon advances here with the quarterback under center. Man in motion. Either way, it's going to be sniffed out, either the handoff or the quarterback. The quarterback's finally going to be brought down where he fumbles the football, but was he already down? 6.4 seconds left. Thanks Not going to matter. Mount Vernon's going to win. Two and one, baby. Six point four seconds left to go. It's going to remain with the Knights. It'll be third down. They won't well, run another play. Oh, they might. Nah, they might get three, one in. Three, two, two, one. You count it down. That's going to be all she wrote as the Mount Vernon Rams victorious for a week. A second week in a row. 48-21 is your final. We'll tell you all about it. Coming up on your Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. We'll have final stats. We'll have a full comprehensive scoreboard update. We'll tell you a little bit more about our official voice of the Rams Committee First Bank of the Heartland. The Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show is next. 48-21, your final. The Rams are 2-1. Triad drives to 0-3. This is Rams football from WIX Sports. I'm Eddie Bob with Steve Bowers. We'll look at your next ride weather. After a beautiful evening, it's going to be clear and chilly overnight, a low 44 to 48. Tomorrow, bright sunshine and pleasant, high 75. Tomorrow night, clear and chilly. Low again, 44 to 48. Only for Sunday, plenty of sunshine. A nice afternoon, a high 78. And then on Monday, time to cloud and sunshine. High temperature again, 78. Next ride weather from Delphi to MIX. Mount Vernon, Illinois. What do you get when you combine the 2013 Motor Trend Truck of the Year with the best incentives in the market during the only true truck month? Hi, Roy Schmidt Ram Dealer, King City Crisis Center, Mount Vernon. You get deals that are too good to pass up and a large selection that won't last long. Just when you think the deals could not get any better, try 0% financing for up to 72 months on Ram. Wait, I'm not done. That's 0% financing for up to 72 months, plus $2,000 cash back on new 2013 Ram quad cabs, crew cabs with the Big Horn Express or Outdoorsman packages. Take advantage now during the only true truck month. Come see one of our associates at King City Crisis Center at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon or shop us online at kingcitychrysler.com. <laughs> Hi, this is Jim Flagg, commercial banker for People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. People's National Bank has served local businesses and farmers for over 100 years. With a wide variety of deposit and loan products, we have all your banking needs covered. From opening or expanding a business to purchasing a farm implement for the upcoming season, People's National Bank is here to help. Stop by today and let us show you what a true community bank can do for you. 
People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois farmers and businesses since 1909. Member FDIC. Are you interested in a career in the culinary arts but can never afford the high cost of cooking school? Red Lake College has a low-cost recipe for success. For as little as $5,500 per year, you can get a quality culinary arts education in your own backyard. That even includes books, tuition, class fees, and supplies. Learn to master domestic fare, pastry, and poor cuisine in Ina, Illinois. Save thousands on a culinary arts education at Red Lake College. For more information, log on to rlc.edu slash culinary arts. Learn to live healthy, learn to live well, and learn how you can live free from unexpected medical expense with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance and the Page Agency. Health insurance that covers hospital, medical, and surgical expenses offers a wide choice of deductibles and a non-tobacco user discount, too. Rising medical costs don't have to be a problem with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance. This is coverage we hope you'll never need, but you just can't be without. Call the Page Agency at 242-7000 about a major medical health insurance plan today. This is Mount Vernon Rams football from WMIX Sports, the Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show. Starts now. And we welcome you back to J.D. JD Shields Memorial Stadium. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow brings you the video on WMIXSports.com. Quentin Lloyd back at the studio keeps us on AM 940. So glad to have you with us. Hope you enjoyed the 48-21 victory for the Mount Vernon Rams over the Triad Knights. The Rams improved to 2 and 1. The Knights fall to 0 and 3 for the first time in the good Lord knows how long. This is your Sch Schmidt Chevrolet post game show 34-23 Broadway in Mount Vernon. SchmidtChevrolet.com. Of course. We'll get to some stats a little bit later on. We'll get some final scores here in just a moment as well. But 48-21 Probably the key to the game, as you look back, I don't really want to count that last drive just because you're trying to kill clock. You're not trying to necessarily score. But the first seven drives of the game for the Rams, first seven possessions, end up in seven touchdowns. That's an effective offense. That's a good offensive line. That's a good running game. That's a good, yeah. I mean, that's good everything. Yep, that's what I just tweeted at WMX Sports. Eight possessions, seven touchdowns, seven straight scores to start the game. Hard to beat a team when the offense and the offensive line is clicking as well as they were doing in the, there. The defense kind of had some issues there with the option at first, but when the drives were crucial to be and they had to be stopped, the defense stepped up to do that. And a lot of big hits tonight, uh, Xavier Atias, Robert Greider, Tyler Knutson, Andrew Heiner, uh, Miles Tate, among others, all stepped up with some key hits tonight. And as a result, the Rams got some key stops, were able to, to build that lead to a three-score advantage. And that's a big job for the Rams tonight. That's a big job. But, I mean, this is what you want. And, again, this win tonight where you dominate triad like they did. And Altoff's going to see the film. And they're gonna, it won't be ours. But they're going to see the tra tape. And they're going to go, whoa. They just went down and said, bang, 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 bang. And there was nothing anybody could do. It's not fancy. It's not trickery. It's just here it is. Have at it. And that's exactly what Malvern did tonight. An impressive victory. First win at home in two years. First time over 500, what, five years? And now on the road to Altoff next week. Here we go. There we go. South 7 Conference play starts next week. We'll tell you where you can tune in. After a quick break, this is your Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. The Malvern and Rams victorious tonight by a final of 48 to 21. This is Rams football powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Friday night lights are back. The best in high school football content is right here at WMIX Sports. Don't miss area coaches and our panel of experts as the Saturday Sports Show revisits the region's most important games. We'll also recap the WMIXSports.com scoreboard. Plus, talk up other local sports. Look for the Saturday Sports Show after the 8 a.m. news on WMIX 940 and WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. This is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Center. It's been said that in order to grow, you have to change. Very rarely anymore do insurance companies ask the phrase to go out and get free estimates. The new phrase insurance companies are asking is, would you like to take your vehicle to one of our direct repair facilities? This is a way for your insurance company and collision repair center to help relieve the stress you may have from your unfortunate incident. And as Landers Collision Center has adapted to this forever changing industry, we are extremely happy to announce that we are a direct repair facility for over 10 different insurance companies. It's likely that one of them is yours. From dealing with your insurance company, setting you up with a rental vehicle, lifetime warranty on repairs, and of course, 
Landers Free, lifetime detailing for qualified customers. Landers Collision Centers literally takes the stress from your incident and turns it back into a shiny new ride for you to enjoy again. Landers is here for you whenever you need us. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. One triple eight Landers. That's one eight 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 Landers. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. This is Joe David Cummins from Community First Bank. You're listening to the Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back to the Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. Chris Hugo with Danny Zawenski alongside on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. 48 21, your final here from JD Shields Memorial Stadium. As the Rams get a big win tonight, Jared Shaner gets another iced Gatorade bath on the sidelines as the Rams improve to 2 and 1. And of course, the try at night's fall to 0 and 3. Schmidt Chevrolet, SchmidtChevrolet.com. Of course, you'll find their inventory in person at 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. You'll find us here at J.D. Shields Memorial Stadium. And a big win for the Mount Vernon Rams tonight, heading into St. Clair County next week. Back to St. Clair County on even numbered weeks, apparently, as they will take on the Altoff Crusaders from Lindenwood University Sa Stadium. Of course, we, I will give you your option of stats or scores. Stats, Mount Vernon, 26 first downs to Triads, 11. Mount Vernon with one turnover on the night. That was late. Triad with two. Penalties, 10 for 60 for Mount Vernon, 2 for 10 for Triad. Rushing department, the Rams, I had 446. That's unofficial. The 226 for Triad. Passing yards, all Mount Vernon, 27 zip, which gives you a total yardage of 467 at 226. Final score, Mount Vernon, 48. Triad, 21. That's a quick glance at your stats and, of course, your final stats here tonight on a Ram victory. 48-21 to 21 over Triad is your final. We'll come back and tell you more here on your Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. We'll come back, give you one final scoreboard. We'll come back and give you a player of the game. From J.D. Shields Memorial Stadium, this is your Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. This is Rams football powered by Community First Bank. Protect yourself and the ones you love by getting a flu shot at the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. It's the smart and healthy thing to do. Just walk right in. No appointment is necessary and no prescription from your doctor is required. The shot is no cost to Medicare primary beneficiaries with Part B. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black. We have a seasonal flu shot event, which is not just one day, but usually four or five days that we uh, schedule nurses to come in and give shots. I can also give shots to anybody who can't make those days, for example. The Medicine Shop is also offering flu shot clinics. Here are the dates. Get your flu vaccine between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. on Tuesday, September 24th, and again, Thursday, October 3rd, Monday, October 7th, and Tuesday, October 8th. If you're homebound, every effort will be made to schedule a home visit. Call us if you require the service. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or call 618-242-8776. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. Automart of Salem is here to help. Automart of Salem is your local stop here, pay here headquarters. Quality cars, vans, SUVs, and trucks in stock now. All credit applications are accepted. Stop here and pay here at Automart of Salem, 1819 West Main, Salem, Illinois. Stop online at automartofsalem.com or call us at 618-548-8611. Your future is calling. With the GED test and some help from Renlake College, you can answer the call. The current test expires at the end of 2013, and your scores will expire, too, if you don't finish and pass the test by then. Don't feel prepared? Don't worry. We can help. Visit finishtheged.com to learn more. Don't miss the chance to turn one small step into your next big opportunity, like college, a better job, and the respect you deserve. Finish your GED by the end of 2013. Questions? Call Renlake College's Adult Education and Literacy Department today. 437-5321. Find us on Facebook. This is Rams Football from WMIX Sports. And we're back at J.D. Shields Memorial Stadium where the Mount Vernon Rams have wrapped up a 48-21 win over the Triad Knights. First time in four years that the Rams have bested the Knights. Last time was in 2009 when the Rams beat Triad, but here we are from J.D. Shields, and the Rams get a home win for the first time since 2011. It was also the last time they'd gotten their victory prior to 
Last week's win on the road at Mascuda. So, big night. A lot of scores from around the area. We'll get to those in just a moment, of course. As we work on our Saturday sports show lineup for tomorrow morning, 8.08 until 10 o'clock, of course, after the 8 o'clock news right here on AM 940 and WMIXSports.com. We will have Malford and Rams head football coach Jared Shaner. We will also have Johnny Hollis, assessor Larry Waltonville, mm -hmm. Woodlawn fame. We'll have our WMIX sports correspondents, and we'll have a pretty good, what we hope will be a pretty good lineup yeah. tomorrow morning on the Saturday sports show.